Kevin Tharp here. In the last video you saw how I created a custom HTML5 template and I used that file to uh, save, create and save over uh, two new files uh, in one in my exercises folder, one in my root level. And so I, I set up a basic site there and in those files I created uh, basic navigation that would allow me to get from the home page to the exercises page and from the exercises page to the home page. This is in prep for later on as more and more pages get added to it, uh, the exercises page especially because that's the way that we work in this class is that uh, any labs or, or case studies that you do, when you make them you will need to uh, add a link on this exercises page. But there's also some global navigation that's there that we're going to want to have on all of our pages. So we've got the home page, we've got the exercises page. Um, there might be other things that we add later on. But the problem is that um, we have to go in and every time we change that uh, HTML file or the, the navigation, we have to touch that on every page. So what we're going to do is we're going to use what's called includes. And so we're going to change the way that we do this. So I want to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go into my HTML file or my template file and again if uh, this isn't visible to you at the moment what you would need to do is you would need to do commands HTML and then at the bottom you would cho choose edit this bundle and I'll once again move my thing up so that you can see that commands HTML edit this bundle and that would open this HTML um, project which is where the templates and all of that live so that would give you access to this so then I'm gonna open that HTML file and what I want to do is I want to come into this area where the nav is because that's what I'm gonna change and you could do this with any section of your page and I want to delete the content I want to leave the opening and closing nav tags you want to make sure that those stay in there um, unless of course you added them into your uh, the page that you were going to include and, and that gets into a uh, more sophisticated level of thinking about things than we're quite ready for right now. Let's just worry about the includes at this point. So what I want to do is I want to include, you'll notice I've created a nav.html document and it includes links to the exercises page and to the the home page. Now what I want to do is make sure that those are um, relative to the site and so you'll f see that forward slash index.html forward slash exercises and that that's just the code that tells it to go to the root level and then look for actually in this case I want that to say folder uh, it's looking for the folder exercises and uh, that's what we want it to look like. So that's got links to the home page and the exercises page. And let's go ahead and, and save that. And what we're going to do is we're going to use an include. So I need to move this down so that you can see it again. So I go into commands, HTML, and I choose includes. And here there's only one kind of include to use, which is a persistent include. So I'm going to choose Add Persistent Include, and then I just want to negotiate back to that file that I'm going to have included on that page, which is nav. So I click on that, and what it does is it gives me this page. Now if I choose to look at that in the browser at this point, you're going to notice that it doesn't actually include that. The, the script is in there, but the content isn't. So what I need to do is I need to come back in here and I go back to commands and then I go to HTML includes and I want to update that document so what that does at that point is it goes out and it grabs the content from this nav.html and it imports it into this document so that now when I do this when I look at the page you'll see that navigation is in there so so far all I've done this to is the templates page now 
there's a couple things that I could do at this point. I've already created files from that um, from this template that include this information. There's the index.html uh, and the exercises folder index.html. So I have to make up my mind if I want to recreate those from the template or if I want to just go in there and add those independently. See, that's the thing about using templates in Aptana is that they're a one point in time um, template. They're, they're not connected uh, the way that uh, templates would be, be say, in, in Dreamweaver that has a um, has intelligence behind the connection between the template pages and the pages. So uh, really, once your template, it, once you've created a page from the template, that gives you that base code, but it's not going to automatically up, update. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, and I'm in, in the index.html at the root level. I'm going to replace this content with the same thing that I just did. So I'm going to do commands, HTML includes persist and include and I'm gonna do my nav and then we might as well go ahead and update that while we're here and I'm just gonna do that on the home page for right now so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and I will synchronize that file And when I go to my home page and reload it, you notice that it's brought in the, the, the files. Now, when I go to the exercises page, it hasn't brought in that navigation element because I didn't do the include in that page. Now, what I want to do is if I wanted to change this nav.html, I would come in here and I would add another in this case I'm going I've got mine set up as list items now I'm adding a link to uh, my personal home page or my personal website kevinwtharp.com since it's not on this server I have to do the full absolute path including the HTTP colon slash slash uh, kevinwtharp.com now over here inside this anchor tag I obviously have to put some kind of text so that it, you can so that it shows up um, and so now we've got links to home exercises and my personal website. Now, one of the things that I was pointing out is I had to put the absolute URL. So that is um, from anywhere on the Internet, it's going to find that. Now, these files will only work inside of the website that I am designing right now because they link to a specific file. And what they're saying is go to the root level and then load index.html. Go to the root level and then load exercises, the folder called exercises, and since I have an index.html file in that, it'll load that index file in when I click on exercises. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and I'll go to the page that is using that include, and you'll notice that it has not updated that include. Uh, at this point. So what I have to do at this point is I go back to commands, HTML, includes, and update document, and you'll see that it brings that file in so that now if I run that file, and of course this is looking locally when I do the run that way. It's not looking out on my server, it's looking here locally, but you'll see that it's added that Kevin W. Tharp website. If I synchronize my site up, it's then going to have access to it on the server as well. But it didn't update that file until I told it to do so. So um, this is a good way to, to use if you're doing a small basic website. The next video will go into doing includes that will automatically uh, not update this page, but it will tell it how to include a file at the time that the browser makes the HTTP request so that when I update that nav, as soon as I save this folder, it'll automatically update any pages that are using that. And that'll be the next video.